Non-living components is temperature. So the temperature of an area affects the types of animals and plants living there. Do you still remember how camels and cacti adapt to survive in desert and how polar bears survive in polar regions? So these are the animals, are the example of of temperature. So number one is a bear hibernating. So we have also learned that polar bear are adapted to cold habitat. So their habitat is very cold. During winter, most animals will hibernate by going into a deep sleep. So to survive the winter without so that's why the polar bear there are have deep sleep to survive the winter without food. The no number two is migrating birds. So migrating birds, some birds avoid winter by migrating or traveling to warmer places where they can find food and shelter. So this migrating bird, they are traveling to warmer places to find food and shelter. Okay. This is also another example. Some trees start to shed their leaves in autumn. As the nights get longer and colder, these trees simply stay dormant throughout the winter. So winter is too cold, so very cold for them to grow or to make food. That's why the leaves is falling down, growing, going down. So that is the adapt of temperature. So the next is spring so is spring living things will be active again when winter and warm temperatures and spring and summer are suitable for plants to grow and blossom animals that hibernate will become active and come out to hunt for food else is active to find hunt for and the plants is to grow and blossom. That's why so beautiful. So the next is okay, that, the last non-living component is soil. Soil is a thin layer of material covering the surface of our earth most plants grow in soil so normally plants grow in the soil soil provides growth also provides support so this is, this is the root then roots of the tree and entering to soil so next is earthworm some animals live in the soil their habit their habitat in the soil. So, the first example is earthworm. So, soil is also a habitat to some animals. For example, earthworm. Earthworms, they, their habitat in the soil. So, and moles, moles live in the soil. Earthworm do not have eyes, so no eyes to or ears to hear surroundings. However, they sense their surrounding by using their skin. Skin. Using their skin. They also have a strain body to to them to soil. So this is environment. So again, earthworm their habitat in the soil and some plants their grow in the okay. 
this is another example of their environment. So, mole. Mole have four sense of sight. They have many long whiskers. So, this is the whiskers. So, the moles have so many whiskers to their nose to help them feel their surroundings. Their forelimbs are strong and have flow to help them dig in the soil. Their claw to help them to dig in the soil. So these are the example of animals live in the soil. Okay, so I hope you understand our topic for today. Again, what are the five non-living components? What are the five? So these are the five non-living components. So number one is water. Number two, sunlight. Number three, air. Number four, temperature. And number five, soil. Again, one more. Five non-living component, components are water, sunlight, air, temperature, soil. So that are the five non-living components. So please open your textbook, page number... 12 and 13. Okay, the first is page number 12. So what is the gas A? Name the process carried out by the trees to produce gas A. What is the gas B? Name the process Name the process carried out by the cow to produce gas so, you can see the answer here. So, so, during respirations, animals and plants give out carbon dioxide. Then, plants use carbon dioxide to carry out photosynthesis, then releasing oxygen. Then another respiration, animals and plants give out carbon dioxide and then plants use carbon dioxide to carry out photosynthesis. That is independence between plants and animals for gas. Next, what is, what is an environment? What is an environment? So this is the possible. This is the answer. Environment is made up of all the living and non-living things around us that affects our life. And then the next question is: List the non-living components that living things depends on for survival. Okay. There are five. What are these? Page 13. So fill in the blank to show how environment affects the organisms. Name the non living components the organism interact with the heat situation. So these are the choices for this one hydrating, skin, oxygen, yields, this is finished, hibernate, and photosynthesis. So non living components again. This answer you can see so again water, sunlight, air, temperature, and soil. For non living component. So the next is.
worksheet to draw an example of non-living component. Just only one example. Sunlight, soil, water, air, and temperature. So draw a, draw an example of non-living component. For example, water, fish. So, so I hope you understand our topic for today. Thank you and see you again next time. Bye-bye. Goodbye.